All right, folks, the first camping trip of 2022 that Tasha and I are doing at Lake Boudin camping um, area. Um, I'm not going to videotape me getting prepared and packing the trailer and the boat and all this mess because I have like a thousand and one things to do um, here in like only four or five hours. So I have a lot of running to do, post office, um, the stores, um, load the trailer, take that out there, come back, get the boat, take that out there. Um, Tosh, we're not, we're not going out there till three o'clock or so. I'm not, <clears throat> I'm gonna go out there and set everything up. Um, and then Tosh is gonna sleep. And then once she gets up, I am going to, um, get the boat and pick her up while she logs into work and she's going to work uh, from a computer out there um, the first night and then she's off the rest of them so um that's that so hopefully you enjoy the video um see you after the intro Hey, as promised, uh, we just got out here. Um, we have the trailer and uh, Tasha's gonna help me uh, set up and then I'm gonna take her home. Uh, she's gonna sleep for a while and get up for work. Uh, then we'll grab the boat and come back out here. So uh, that's the game plan. But right now, I don't have much time to talk. Um, I'm gonna be raking some of these gumballs up. If you don't know what them gumballs are, um, Here's an illustration for you. That's a gumball. And when you're older, these are like, these are deadly. Like Legos. Yeah, worse than Lego. Yeah, I slip, whoop. But uh, we're gonna be um, putting the tent up, so she's gonna help me do all that. And then uh, we're gonna head back home to get more stuff done um, before I have to go, because I have to pack the cooler. We need some food. This isn't survival here. This is, no. Tasha's with me this one, so this is not survival. Um, and I didn't bring my Letterman knife, but I got my Lonnie Noons family knife here. So, yes, look at that. Tasha's here, so I can't flip it. Yeah, I'll stop sending him knives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna get this done, and I'll be back with you uh, shortly, maybe on the ride home, or right when we, we set everything up, I'll show you the little layout real quick, but we gotta go. Time's a-burning. The wick's burning at both ends. Is that what they say? The candle's burning at both ends? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Gotta go. Go post stop recording. Go post stop recording. Hey, look at this. That tent, you're not going to believe, it only takes five minutes to set up. That's what she said. No lie. Am I lying? Look at that. She said, she says I'm not lying, so I, I cannot be lying. Uh, we're going to put the canopy up tomorrow, probably right here, but it's already like 5.30 and she needs to get to sleep to, uh, so she can uh, rest for work. Then once she gets, she gets up, we're going to come out here. 
Um, and she'll just, she gets, to, this is her office. This is her hot office right now. It's going to cool off a little bit, but this is the hottest day of the year right now. Uh, but you can't, when you go camping, you can't just say, hey, I'm going to go camping three weeks out and reserve this spot because it might rain. So it's, it's really rough to do, but it might be the thing that we can cancel without getting charged. I think, I don't know. Because uh, if you don't, if you do it like we did, there's spots all around here that are the best and they're, they're open now, but they're, people's in them Friday and Saturday. So that's, it messes us up for the whole trip because we're here Wednesday through Monday. Um, but uh, we're going to get the rest of this done later. We do got all the stuff out that we need to get out. Uh, basically put it up everywhere. We got the wood in the trailer still, so we're leaving that there. I'm putting lock on the trailer. Uh, I got the uh, wash, the uh, wash and clean station here for the fish that Touch is going to catch and clean and cook. We're going to be doing that. So yes, we are catching fish this time because Tosh is with us. So we will see some fish uh, getting cooked. So yes. Um, other than that, um, I did bring a fan, so the fan's in there. Uh, I don't know. We do got to bring a broom. I got a couple of other things to get. Uh, sorry, I didn't get a chance to get all this set up because we barely, we had less than two hours to do all this, probably an hour and a half. Um, but I did bring my bike out here, so I'll be doing some of that in the morning time. Meditate, listen to some nice little uh, meditation music while I ride my bike and zone out. Uh, Okay, I don't know what else to say other than I brought these green lights she, she's not going to like. So we might not even do those. I'm just just saying I brought them just in case. Uh, all right, well, let's get back to the house. I'm going to get all get ready, get Luna taken care of, uh, the other chickens, collect the eggs, tidy down, batten down the hatches, and then come back out here this evening and wrap this vlog up. I might talk to you while I'm at home a little bit, but... Right now, we gotta go. She needs to sleep. Somebody has to work. She has a real job. Go post stop recording. Back at the house, got the boat hooked up. Everything good to go. Already had this already ready to go. All I had to do is hook this up. Um, so when she wakes up, we'll be ready to go. I don't even think I showed you this. Her dad had gave her this boat. Um, it's a fixer upper. It's a really nice trailer. Definitely. Uh, it's a nice boat. It just needs new, uh, new flooring here. Yeah, put flooring in here. So you don't have to do that, but we'll rip that back up, put some more, um, uh, pressure treated wood down with the indoor outdoor carpet on it. Um, comes with a little motor. He says it still works a uh, built in alternator. So it charged the battery, uh, just a minor adjustments needed for this, that that's broke. Uh, and uh, needs to, the whole back piece, this whole back piece needs to be replaced. So uh, it's a fixer upper, but we are glad he had gave it to us. So really appreciate him for that. So thank you very much. Uh, other than that, I'm about ready to go. I'm just gonna odds and ends around here. Um, like I said, I collected the eggs. I got Luna squared away. Um, I want to come back Friday. So three days, it's about 15 minutes away. So about three days, I'm gonna come collect all the eggs, check on Luna, and then if we need some stuff in the house, I'll get it and come back out there. But I don't wanna go over three days with having all those eggs out there. They'll start breaking and uh, it'll be, be a mess. I'm not gonna do a campfire tonight, it's so hot. We're gonna eat before we leave here so we don't have to cook tonight there. If we do, we'll snack on some stuff that we brought. No campfire tonight. It's like 90 degrees still. You see this? This horsepower, this raw freaking horsepower up here. I'm not sure if you can see it. Okay, just trust me if you can't. Okay, let me get these eggs in here. And uh, we got four and a half dozen uh, today. So that's a, that's, a, that's a good day. Anywhere from four to, to five and a half dozen is a really good day. So let me shut up. The sun's about to go down. We got about, about an hour before the sun goes down. We got three fingers and uh, tss, PG people, PG. Okay, I gotta go. I'll, I'll have anything else to say. See you when I see you. The next clip. Folks, I'm trying to get out of here. Um, Tasha is way different than me. Uh, she's brown. I'm light-skinned. She's tall. I'm not. She's not cheap. I'm very cheap. 
Uh, I'm a prepper. I was ready three days ago for this trip. She is just got out of bed and packing her bags now. Uh, yes, yeah, totally different. I'm trying. It's like 9:30. Uh, I know she has to work, uh, but I would have packed my bags a little sooner. So uh, I think she's waiting for her lunch break or her little uh, not lunch break, but her break, and then uh, getting everything and hitting the road and then working again. But I'm trying. I'm trying my best to keep it all together. Just breathe, Brandon, breathe. Okay, uh, I got Luna right here. Luna has her automatic feeder. It has feed that's coming out. She's not eating much at all. I had to ground up her food um, in the food processor because she's not taking big bites. She's really malnutrition kind of because she uh, she's broody. If you didn't know uh, what that is, she could sit here for like a month, month and a half. And sometimes they can actually die because they, they do not eat as much. But I've been feeding her as much as possible. Um, and she has some, uh, I'd call it chicken aid. It is vitamin water. So I've been giving her that. Uh, I've been uh, giving her eggs. And yes, they eat protein and the calcium in there. So I crunch up the eggshells as well. Uh, she is, uh, she's probably saying get this camera out of my face, but I'll be back in two days and I will check on her. She does get up from time to time because she doesn't like to poop in that basket. So she does run out that door really quick. She just jumps up like poop and jumps up and runs straight where the boat used to be. Uh, the boat had a tarp on it and water was collecting in there and that's where she would drink water at. I don't know why she just doesn't get up and go here and drink. She runs right out there and goes all the way over there by the he shed to get water so i left the tarp there with a cup a big kind of pool in there of water so i did fill that up so she could run over there and get water um and uh she's thinking about eating from time to time and i do hand feed her um so uh i'll be back in two days to collect all the eggs and and check on luna and then two days after that we'll be back from the trip so i think it's a four about a four day five night trip so okay luna i'll bring you some fish back i'm not sure if she eat no fish but uh she doesn't open her mouth up as, as as big because she usually eats some of my freeze pop and she just does not want to to eat much so okay tell everybody bye luna i'm gonna go get um tasha ready so you have a good night she's looking a little tired so i'm gonna leave her alone and cut this cut this light out and I will talk to you guys when we get to the campsite and wrap this vlog up okay and tomorrow will be full of whatever cooking and all kind of stuff we're not cooking tonight out there I'm not going to worry about the fire tonight like I said too hot so see you at the campsite Lake Boudin camping if you didn't see that video it's a yo-yo video we did for the first time out there at Lake Boudin um, so please check that out and put Put it up there now. Or is it right there? It's right there. Put put it it's right there in that corner. Right there. Click it. After well, you can do it now, but come back to the video. Or wait till later. I don't know. Do what you gotta do. I gotta go. I I'm not making sense. She's looking at me crazy through the window. Gotta go. Go post stop recording. Go post stop recording. Okay, it is uh ten thirty PM still waiting. Uh I'm, I'm out here with the car running, just uh, being patient as I can. I'm just pacing back and forth. I guess we're, we'll get there. Uh, I've still got stuff to do when I get there, and I want to make a lot of noise with the other campers. So uh, I'm not sure. i got to put the food away so the raccoons, if they have raccoons out there, they don't eat it before we eat it, she said. And about 50 other things to do. So I'll probably be up all night. Um, She'll be up all night working, so I guess I guess I'll have company. Good company, okay? Just in case she watches this video. Okay. All right, well, I'm wasting patiently. Okay. Over and out, guys. There's nothing really else to say that you know, I start cursing. This is not a Facebook subscriber, but if you are uh, a Facebook subscriber, you know that you're subscribed for the $2.99, measly $2.99 a month that I charge for, for Facebook subscription, you hear me cursing. So, sorry, you won't hear me cursing right now, but if you wanna 
if you want to subscribe to the Facebook, um, you will definitely hear some. So, okay. But that said, I'm getting out of here so I can curse. Got to let some steam off. Go post stop recording. Out here at the campsite, she's in the wigwam working right there. She's in there working. She doesn't know that I have like three sets of these green lights. I'm gonna, this is just one set. I'm gonna put all these out here and then she's gonna come out here and wonder what kind of UFO landed. Um, but I am um, gonna get this stuff squared away tonight and um, get this done because I wanna make sure where I'm walking and who I'm shooting at. So um, I gotta go, I gotta go. We'll post stop recording. I know you can't see me, but you can see the lights. There we go. I put some lights right there and then around the table and then to the uh, tent, the wigwam. Uh, so anything inside of this green is okay to walk. There's no, no obstructions or anything inside of this green. So if you need to go to the car to go to the restroom real quick, you can go down this path and go straight to the car. The cars, can't see it, it's over there. But uh, the only obstruction actually is the picnic table that you can't see. It's right, right there. And I'll have my computer stuff right there, but everything inside of this path is good to go. So uh, there is a container right here that I'm gonna put inside because it has food in it and I want any raccoons to get it. But other than that, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna say good night because uh, all you're gonna see is a half a face like Phantom of an Opera right here. Uh, I don't have any scary stories to tell you. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, only scary story I have is I may never get a negative comment again. I don't know what I'm gonna do. No, I'll get plenty of them. Don't worry about that. Uh, but. Uh, Tomorrow, I'm going to wake up, and she's probably going to be tired from working, so I'm probably going to get a lot more stuff done around here. And then um, we'll probably get some fishing in, maybe tomorrow. I'm not really sure. Um, but there's definitely going to be more camp, camping-type stuff on this camping trip. This is just getting ready and getting out here and just uh, the basics of uh, trying to figure out what the heck to do. But tomorrow, we're going to camp. You come along with this. Just watch the videos, okay? Um, I'm not sure if there's going to be four vlogs or five vlogs of this this camping trip, but um, hopefully you can tag along with us, guys, and uh, enjoy the camping. I know you guys want to see some uh, catch, clean, and cook, so that's definitely going to happen on this series. She brought a lot of fancy. I can't even. I'm not even going to talk about it, but uh, she brought a lot of stuff. Uh, to cook so we're gonna have a lot of cooking i brought my new camera even though i said i wasn't gonna bring it camping again i got it for some good b-roll so i'm gonna use it for b-roll probably only and not try to use it around the fire too much but i know i'm lying because i'm going to use it probably when she's cooking and, and getting all kind of shots for that so with that said guys i'm gonna shut this camera down uh, i do thank you again and uh, good night Hey, thanks for watching the video again. If you haven't visited my website yet, um, the, the address is www.DougGarbageDisposalStore.com. You can navigate through the top, all these links right here. Um, there is actually a question and comment form. If you have any questions or comments, uh, fill that out, and it'll go straight to my email. At the very bottom, there is a free newsletter. Just sign up for right here, um, and you'll get a weekly newsletter. So, uh if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit see all so you get all the notifications and don't miss the videos. Please comment. I like to um, listen to your comments uh, and respond to you, so I do like to interact with you guys. Uh, please share the video with your friends, family, even your boss, and 
Have a great day, unless you meet other plans. <laughs>